Welcome to another GCSE Mathematics uh, video where we're going to be looking at the algebra of factorising expressions into double brackets. So specifically we're going to look at factorising expressions along the lines of x squared plus 9x plus 20. Okay, let's start with an example then. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorise x squared plus 9x plus 20 back into a double bracket. So in terms of doing that we have one bracket, two brackets and the easy part is it's x squared so there's going to be an x there and an x there. Now what we need to do now is we need to look for two numbers that add together to give 9 and multiply together to give 20. Now that one's pretty easy this time. Um, if I just do some workings in the bottom right hand corner, 4 add 5 is 9 and 4 times 5 equals 20. So in terms of factorising it, it's going to be x plus 4 and x plus 5. Now at this stage, what we can also do here is we can actually do a check to make sure that our answer's correct. So all we do to do our check is we multiply out. So x times x we know is x squared. x times 5 we know is 5x. 4x is 4x. And 5 plus 4 is 20. And then when we tidy that all up we get x squared and 5x and 4x is 9x and we've got the 20 on the end so we know we're correct. Now if we just do a very quick review of what we've done here the task was to factorise x squared plus 9x plus 20 into two brackets and we've done that one bracket is x plus 4 the second bracket is x plus 5 Okay, now the second one's a bit trickier. Same problem as before, factorise m squared minus 8m plus 15, and it's this minus 8m in the middle that's going to make it a touch trickier. Now, we're going to do the same as we did before, two brackets, so if I just write them there, and the m squared bit is the easy bit, because it's going to be an m in both brackets. Now what we're looking for here is two numbers that multiply to give 15 and add together to give minus 8. Now if I do some workings down the corner again, now 5 times 3 is 15, which we may think helps. But when you do 5 add 3, you get plus 8, not minus 8. So what we'll try this time is if you do minus 5 and minus 3, Minus 5 times minus 3, minus times a minus a positive, which gives you 15. But then if you do minus 5 add minus 3, you get exactly what you're looking for, which is the minus 8. So in terms of factorising, it's going to be m minus 5, and it's going to be m minus 3. Now when you do some of these, I would ask you to do exactly as I did. Make sure you check your answer through to make sure you didn't go wrong. Now in terms of what do we get? Well m times m is m squared. m times minus 3 is minus 3m. Minus 5 times m is minus 5m. And minus 5 times minus 3 is plus 15. Tidy that up. m squared minus 3m minus 5m is minus 8m plus 15. So we're back to where we started, we know we're correct, and if we just review again what we've done here, our job was to factorise m squared minus 8m plus 15 into two brackets, and we've done that. One bracket is m minus 3, one bracket is m minus 5. Okay, and here's seven questions you can do on factorising expressions. And if we have a look in, in a little bit more depth at the first one, um, which is y squared plus 5y plus 6, as I was doing on my examples, we need to factorise that back into two brackets. 
So y squared plus 5y plus 6, if I do the equal sign, there's going to be one bracket, and there's going to be two brackets. There's going to be a y and a y, and you need to work out the two numbers that go essentially at the end. So there and there. So what you should do now is um, pause the video, have a go at the seven questions, and then when you've done the seven questions, the answers will come up on the screen if you start the video again. So I'm going to stop talking and now will be an excellent time for you to pause the video. And here we have the solutions to the questions. So you can see for the first one, y squared plus 5y plus 6 factorises to y plus 2, y plus 3. So again, I advise you pause the video for a few minutes and cross-check my answers with your answers. Go through and tick them right or cross them wrong. And the key thing to do is, if you've got a question wrong, try and work out where you went wrong. And if you've got a problem after that, talk to me or talk to one of your other mathematics teachers. And finally, and as always, I um, very much hope you found this video useful. If there are any further problems, don't hesitate to talk to myself, drop me an email, or talk to one of your maths teachers. Thank you for watching.